So what relational databases do is they, they break apart these tables and make unique identifiers to link these things. So here in this relational database, instead of having it as one table that's stacked either in the cell, horizontally or vertically, we now have two tables. So we have a name table, and then the ID here links to the ID here. And so now we can put our address and any information about the people in the people table. We can update it only one time. It's very easy to sort of do queries on this. We have the person ID here. So even if this is an Excel table, you can do pivot tables. You can do all of the things that you would want to do in Excel without having to run into this, this issue of, of things being stacked. Um, so for people who haven't used relational databases, does this make sense? Yeah, please. First, what happens with Bob here is Alice and then they call him. Spot, spreadsheet, and it's together. And you've got a multi relationship. You're going to need another table just for the pets. For, yeah, or, I mean, the other thing you could do, depending on what it is that you want to get out of it, is that you could then now go into this table and replace all of your threes with twos and change the name to Bob and well, Alice. Or, no, I'd suggest you actually pull out the dogs and the cats. Table just like you do people. Oh, okay. And then in, in this relationship, puts that to both. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there, yeah, there are a number of ways that you could, you could sort of update it. Um, and so, and this is what I think is, is nice about this sort of design is that as things change, as you know, you might start it and not be interested in, in the possibility that people get married and then find out very quickly that people do, in fact, get married in that. <laughs> um, changes your pet situation. So it, it sort of, what's that? Or vice versa. Yes, or they get unmarried and they have to split up their pets. Um, and then you can, you can sort of evolve the schema much more easily than you could with, with something like this or this. Any other questions or thoughts about relational databases? Yeah. Will the fields have to be the exact same for um, just as long as, as you know that they, they link together. Um, and like in Excel, this could be you know, like a VLOOKUP or something that would be based on the column. So it's the, the, actual, I, the actual headers of the column, if you're working like in MySQL, is more just so you know what it is. You can say you know, these two columns go together. Um, so that's it's much more for the, for the, the human user than the, the computer. <laughs> 